Well, welcome everybody to another episode of Record Time. Today's episode is brought to you by the 1981 release by the police called Ghost in the Machine. Now, this record was recorded in 1980 at Air Montserrat, which is a recording studio on the island of Montserrat in the Caribbean. Unfortunately, that island has been hit by so many hurricanes, there has been a lot of flooding there, and then the studio no longer exists. But it was actually designed and built by George Martin, who was the Beatles producer. So, one of the interesting things about the style of the police, which shows up in this record, is Stuart Copeland, who plays drums, and Andy Summers, who plays guitar, used an effect a lot of the time on their sound, on their signal. They used a thing called the Maestro Echoplex. In this instance, it was the EP3. It was called a tape echo. So there was magnetic tape. For those of you who don't know what tapes are, go ask your parents. So magnetic tape that looped and it took a sound and then repeated it over time. Each time it got a little bit less, but it repeated. It was an effect that was used to great effect on this record and a lot of ones in that same time period. I got to thinking about echoes. When you see something in scripture that is repeated more than once, you can see that there is additional weight given there. Paul said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. It was important for him to drive home the fact that we needed with everything within us to rejoice. The word rejoice means to jump up and spin around hilariously. It had great importance of giving that much praise to our God. In the book of Revelation, in chapter 4, it gives the phrase, holy, holy, holy. And you can see it there in verse 8. It said, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. All the creatures that were mentioned there before that were gathered around the throne of heaven saying, holy, holy, holy. Just imagine the sound of the repeated phrase, holy, 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 emanating throughout heaven. What an amazing sound that will be someday that we'll get to hear and experience. You know, the word holy says so much about our God, who he is. He is perfect. He is righteous. And even though we are not, we are made complete in him. And we get to say, you are holy, God. And so that right now, wherever you are at, you might be feeling, I, I, don't, I can't worship because I really don't compare. And we don't compare. We don't compare to our God. But because of him, because of what he'd done for us, we get to lift up our voice and say, God, you are so holy. And we get to echo that phrase in all eternity. We get the privilege of worshiping our God. So even though we feel inadequate, even though we feel like some days we just can't worship, that is exactly the times when we need to. So today, take a moment, lift up your voice to God and say, you are so holy. So take this moment right now and let's worship our holy God for what he's done. Just fall 
face down on the floor, all to echo. Holy is your name. 